Nolagent here at Medium Rare. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we visit Medium Rare Steakhouse for our restaurant review videos to experience a fantastic meat fest and enjoy a steak dinner. If you are looking for where to eat steak in New Orleans, Medium Rare is one of the newest restaurants in New Orleans, and they are known for their French-style steak and frites. Medium Rare is located in the Uptown area of New Orleans at 5538 Magazine Street, which is about 16 minutes and 5 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Medium Rare opened in New Orleans in 2023 and is a small chain, which also has locations in Arlington, Virginia, Bethesda, Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. This is my first visit to this restaurant, although I have read some reviews that have revealed that there are some interesting surprises I should expect inside here. However, if I wouldn't have read some of the reviews, I would definitely have been surprised by some of the things that happen in here. So they certainly have an interesting use of the space here, and they definitely do put their name out all over the place. So medium rare can be found in many places all throughout this entire restaurant on the inside and outside. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. And my first view of the inside of this place is pretty interesting. They've got a nice setup inside of here. So they definitely have a lot of tables and they have lots of space in the usual New Orleans long and narrow shotgun style configuration. They do have an upstairs area here where they don't seem to have any diners. So they do have a little excess uh, capacity. I'm going to be sitting here at the bar as I'm dining alone. So, they do have a lot of nice looking things up here at the bar area, and we certainly see quite a good selection of cocktails here as well. Now, as we look around, they also have some specialty cocktails in addition to what they already advertise on the other board. Even their drink coaster napkins are quite nice with a lot of information on them. And then as we look down the length of the bar and see right into the kitchen area, you can tell they've got a lot of stuff going on back there. So it's kind of fun to see everybody at work back there. So let's go ahead and check out this menu now. So here we're only offered a set menu, prefix, with artisan rustic bread, mixed green salad, award-winning collat steak, and hand-cut fries. Then we have a selection of desserts with grandma's apple pie with vanilla bean ice cream, house specialty hot fudge sundae, double chocolate fudge layer cake, six layer carrot cake, berry lime pie, and then we have coffee, tea, espresso, cappuccino, and cafe latte. On the other side of the menu, we have a selection of red wine, white and rosé wine, sparkling wine, and draft beer, then select spirits and cocktails available. So here's the artisan rustic bread, and it does look quite nice, along with a really good pat of butter. So you can get all the bread that you want, however, I know I've got a lot of food ahead of me, so this is some really nice, delicious bread. I'm not going to eat all the bread that I can eat, though, because uh, there's a lot of food still to get through. So, nice, delicious butter, wonderful, crusty, chewy bread. I really enjoy all of the textures and flavors in this bread. And the butter makes everything go together. So, just like I totally destroyed that bread, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Next up, we get the mixed green salad, and it's a pretty basic looking... Yeah, salad. There's nothing all that interesting and special looking about it. Now there's some uh, good flavors with the dressing that's applied to it. So there's some uh, nice little tomatoes in there, but basically it's uh, a little bit of iceberg mixed up with some spring greens mix. So it's a decent little thing to eat, and it went down pretty fast there. So now, just look how totally destroyed the salad. Go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this bread and salad so far. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account. I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. Now it's time for the main event, and here the steak and frites have arrived, and they look quite nice. There's a uh, nice little creamy sauce of some type applied to it, and there's some good flavors here. 
So the steak is juicy, delicious, perfectly cooked. There's a lot of good flavor going on with it, so it's very moist and perfectly delicious. So everything is uh, very nice. Now let's try out the frites here. So they seem to be perfectly fried on the outside. Nice crunchy crisp on the outside, a little uh, tenderness on the inside, just the way you want your frites to be. And uh, I've got to say, this gravy is not the most flavorful green sauce I've ever had on a steak. It's okay, it doesn't help to keep everything good and moist on here. And the steak is uh, cooked at a decent level, maybe even cooked a little uh, more over the top of medium rare than I would prefer. I'd probably like it a little more on the rare side. It's still pretty tender and decent and flavorful uh, all around though still. Now we're doing a little combo with the frite and the steak. So everything goes quite nicely and it's uh, very convenient. They've already sliced the steak up for you and I've got to say, this has gone down quite fast. I have certainly taken down a lot of this meat very rapidly. And ooh, there is the steak going down. We absolutely destroyed that steak very, very quickly. And we'll love a lot of uh, nice sauce to mix in with our frites here. And they look like they should do a pretty good job of uh, absorbing some of the sauce. My palate would like a bit more garlic, wine, flavor, and some other uh, more spicy notes in this sauce. I'm getting this overall kind of a bland sauce. Here I go with my last freak. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this steak and freaks, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this steak and freaks. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips. I appreciate any help with that. But now it's time for a surprise. You get an entire second serving of the steak and freaks. So I'm going to have to double down and have a whole extra plate of seconds. So the steak serving size is exactly the same as the first round, and I think for the frites I might be getting even more the second round than I did the first time around. So we're going to be very full at the conclusion of this meal. So here we go, and we're going to dive in yet again, and let's see if I can actually eat all this because, wow, I can take down a whole lot of meat, but when it comes to the carbohydrates of the frites, that's the weak point I have. I definitely cannot eat as many carbs as I can of the protein here, so I'm pretty confident I can finish off all of the steak here. However, I don't know if I'm going to finish all the frites, so let's see what happens. So the steak is uh, actually a little better the second round than it was the first round, I would say. I think it's a bit more on the rare side, and that's improved the flavor even more. And I think the sauce is uh, taking up a little uh, extra flavor this time as well. So uh, definitely better the second go around for the steak portion. And let's put a little free in here as well and do a little combo taste. And now we've polished off all of the steak yet again successfully. And now we'll see if I'm able to manage all of these freaks and have my doubts that uh, the wall that might hit me with so many freaks. Now they are really nice and crunchy and go down pretty darn easily and I didn't take them all down and here's the last one. And now just like I totally destroyed the second round of steak and freaks, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the second round of steak and freaks. While you're down there, go ahead and check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. So even though I'm really full, I'm going to attempt to do a dessert. So there's the carrot cake, and then here's the double chocolate fudge layer cake, which, huh, chocolate, that sounds like a great idea. So of course, I got that. Look at this gigantic slice. This thing is huge. This might do me in. I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> this is most definitely a huge slice of cake. This thing is a monster. Oh my goodness, even if I would not have had two servings of steak freaks, this would be a hard slice of cake to take down. Okay, so uh, it's decent flavored. I've definitely have had better chocolate cakes. Uh, I was expecting a little more chocolatey deliciousness with something called a double chocolate fudge layer cake. It's, uh, it's okay. The cake part is a little drier than I would like it to be. I'd like a little more moistness to the cake. So, uh, you know, it's not terrible. It's just, on average, I think I've had a lot more uh, moist, chocolatey, mousse-like cakes 
from a lot of New Orleans uh, restaurants. So this isn't a terrible chocolate cake. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take down this big little chocolate rose on the corner too, because that's got more chocolate icing, of course. Um, I'm just uh, not that impressed with cake, I have to say. This is probably something I would get again. It's not horrible. It's just I think some of the other desserts would probably be better. This kind of has just a plain basic chocolate cake flavor overall to me. It doesn't taste like anything that unique or different or special from any generic chocolate cake you can bake yourself or get anywhere else. So, uh, nothing special here, I'd say. So, uh, you know, nothing's bad. I just think some of the other desserts might have been a little more interesting to me. Is that I get better chocolate cake than this, so why not do something different? So now, just like I totally not destroyed this whole chocolate cake, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about that chocolate cake, because wow, it was huge. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $49.20. So, thanks so much to everybody at Medium Rare. I had fantastic service and I overall enjoyed the experience. I would say though that our other New Orleans steakhouses do steak that tastes better to me at least, but this is certainly a different experience that you might want to try out at some point. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.